initially, I hadn't thought of a body of work at all. I had um, always been disappointed when working from a, a computer. I would look at the monitor and see this beautiful color uh, and detail, and then I would print it out, and it would be so, so disappointing. So I actually went and bought a laptop and started to work for the monitor. And I'd had a series of photographs of, of students because I had always run a color theory assignment. And um, they would grid those and then, and, uh, and then do this kind of Chuck Close thing to it. So I had one that I thought was really sharp and I, I painted it and then it was like, well, okay, this works, but this is a throwaway. What does this painting really mean, this one thing? So then I, that was the first time I thought of a group so the current generation is called the Millennials. So it was these three paintings that I then entitled the Millennials, and I showed them to some colleagues, and they said, oh, you have to do more of these. So then I started doing faculty again as a group. And I'd always envisioned there'd be like between three and five people in a group, and that this would be kind of hung in these groups. And I had no idea how large it would get. But then as I started to do it, I realized, oh my gosh, I, I know all these people. This is truly my autobiography. So that's where the subtext came from this, or for this. Um, and then the, the kind of stopping it at 12 was a matter of finances. I, I paint still life and, and have a gallery and sell those. And over the course of the year that these took, I had nothing for sale. And I couldn't afford it at this point. So, so it ended at 12. Great. Oh, and then a little bit about the, the self-portrait. Again, if this is my autobiography and I'm encountering all these individuals, it's truly my encounter. So for the viewer to, to stand back and view this entire thing, of course it would be the back of my head because I'm the one that's first encountering these people. And then interesting too, just in the process, there are a couple of grandkids and I had never experienced painting with such an open heart. I mean, there's no other way to describe that, but as I was painting Hudson here, I mean, I just, it was with love at every moment, you know, and the same with um, Isabel here. So that was a, a new experience for me. Yeah. 